I'm Miss Cheyenne from the Baystar Library in Greencastle, a branch of the Franklin County Library System, and today we are coming to you from Caledonia State Park, and we're going to be reading a story about um, leaves in the fall. So this is Lawrence in the Fall by Matthew Farina. When Lawrence saw the chalkboard, he froze. Bring in something you collect to show the class. Everyone in class made plans to show off their impressive collections. Pig was going to bring playing cards. Cat said coins. Ducky said silk ribbons. The sheep's going to bring her combs. Turtle has marbles. Your turn, his classmate said. But Lawrence had nothing to share. Poor Lawrence. After school, Lawrence ran home in tears, bursting into his den and climbed into bed. He explained the assignment to his papa. I have nothing for show and tell, Lawrence sobbed. Ah, oh, said papa. I see. I know a place where we might find a collection fit for a special fox like you. Early the next morning, papa took Lawrence's paw and led him into the forest. There is no better place to find what you need than the woods, papa explained. But Lawrence wasn't so sure. The path into the forest only got darker and darker. Until Lawrence walked right into a spider's web. Ick, Lawrence whimpered. Watch where you're going, a small voice said. Hello, spider, Papa called out. May we ask what you collect in this forest? I collect flies in my web to eat. But Lawrence didn't want to eat his collection. So the foxes went deeper into the woods. Lawrence and Papa spotted beautiful rocks that the river had collected on its sandy floor, but the rocks were too hard to reach, so the foxes kept going. As they trotted along, tiny droplets began to fall, wetting Lawrence's fur. The foxes quickened their pace. Before long, a heavy rainfall poured down. Follow me, Lawrence! Papa knew of a cave nearby where they could safely wait out the storm. Lawrence ran after Papa as fast as he could. But the forest floor was soggy and Lawrence fell behind until he lost sight of Papa altogether. There's poor Lawrence. Lawrence found himself alone in a clearing. The rain quieted and in its place came a crisp wind. Papa, Lawrence called out softly, but all he could hear was the wind whispering in the forest. Is anyone there? The tree high above him stirred in reply. Hello. Lawrence said a little louder. This time the branches shook and a small colorful leaf drifted down. Lawrence was in awe of the beautiful leaf. Its perfect tips faded from red to orange. There you are, Papa exclaimed as he rushed into the clearing. Look, Lawrence said with astonishment, forgetting that he had been lost. Let me show you what I can do, Papa. Lawrence led his father to a grove of taller trees where he took a big breath, tilted his head back and called out, hello up there. Once again, the tree branches gracefully swayed back and forth and leaves floated down. Lawrence studied the leaves as he gathered them, yellow ones with rounded edges. Those are oak leaves, Papa exclaimed. Thank you, oak trees, Lawrence called. Lawrence went on to collect leaves throughout the forest. He collected leaves from honey locusts, a pair of white birches, and an old sycamore. He found shaggy willows, a wild crab apple, and the tallest poplars in the forest. And with a pack full of leaves, the foxes made their way home to prepare Lawrence's collection. Finally, it was time for Lawrence to present. All his classmates listened as he told them about his trip to the woods. Every leaf he showed the class was unique in shape and color. Lawrence let his classmates pick out their favorite leaves. He gave away so many that by the end of the day, he had no leaves left, but Lawrence didn't mind. He knew where he could find a few more. And on the last page, it shows the different types of leaves. There was a sugar maple, a white oak, a red oak, a weeping willow, a sycamore, and many more leaves. So if you're looking for something to do this fall, the library has many leaf and tree books. Actually, all of the libraries do, I'm sure. And you can check one out and come to one of the parks that are local and find some leaves just like Lawrence did. I hope you have a good day. Bye.